Module 4, Lesson 4, Homework. Number 1. Draw a tape diagram to solve. Express your answer as a fraction. Show the addition sentence to support your answer. The first one is done for you. So let's go ahead down to B, where it's 4 divided by 5. So we already know, or learned in the previous lesson, that a fraction is the same thing as a division problem. So 4 divided by 5 would be equal to 4 fifths. Now we just need to prove it. So I'm going to start with our tape diagram. And what we have is 4. So the whole thing here is equal to 4. And I'm going to now split that 4 into 5. So we're going to do 4 divided by 5. So what we have is 5 units is equal to 4. So if we added up those 5 units, we would get 4. And 1 unit is equal to 4 fifths. And we'll prove later that 4 fifths, 5 groups of them, is equal to 4. But first, let's divide. So we have 4 divided by 5. 5 can't go into 4, so I'm going to put a 0 there. 0 times 5 is 0. Bring down the 4. There is nothing... 4 minus 0 is 4. Nothing to bring down. So what we have left over is 4 fifths. So we get 0 and 4 fifths are just 4 fifths. And then our check would be 4 fifths times 5, which is equal to 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths and one more 4 fifths. And if we add all of those 4 fifths together, we get 20 fifths. And 20 fifths is equal to 4, which is our whole right here that we started with. All right, 8 divided by 5. Let me get rid of this. Okay, 8 divided by 5 is equal to 8 fifths. Now let's draw our tape diagram. So what we have here is 8, and we're going to divide it into fifths. So we have 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units is equal to 8 holes. And so 1 unit would be equal to 8 fifths. Kind of looks like a 6. 8 fifths. Now let's divide. 8 divided by 5. So 5 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. If we subtract, we get 3. There's nothing left to bring down, so we have 1 with the remainder of 3 out of 5. 1 and 3 fifths. To prove this, or do our check, we're going to need to do 5 times 1 and 3 fifths, which would be equal to 1 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 3 fifths and two more groups of those. If we add all of that together, the holes, we have five holes plus five groups of three-fifths would be fifteen-fifths, which is then equal to five plus fifteen-fifths is equal to three, which is equal to eight. And eight is what we are checking to try and get. Now we have 14 divided by 3. So 14 divided by 3 is going to be 14 thirds. Our whole is 14, and we're going to divide that into 
thirds. So we have three units is equal to 14. So one unit is equal to 14 thirds. Now let's divide. 14 divided by 3. 3 can go into 1 0 times, but 3 can go into 14 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. If we subtract, we get 2. There's nothing left to bring down, so we're going to end up with 4 and 2 thirds, which 14 thirds is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. So our check is going to be 4 and 2 thirds, or we can do 3 times 4 and 2 thirds. So we're going to have 4 and 2 thirds plus 4 and 2 thirds plus 4 and 2 thirds, which would be equal to our whole numbers add up to 12. And three groups of two thirds would be six thirds. And that's equal to 12 plus six thirds is two, which equals 14. And we were dividing by 14. Number two, fill in the chart. The first one is done for you. So we need to look for, in part B, look for something that can help us fill in the first part. So this is 3 fourths. We know the fraction is 3 fourths. So the division problem is 3 divided by 4. It's 3 fourths is between 0 and 1. If we drew a number line, that's where it would be. And if we divide 3 divided by 4, 3 or 4 can't go into 3, so we get 0. 0 times 4 is 0. If we subtract, we get 3 as a remainder. There's nothing to bring down, so we get 0 and 3 fourths. C. Um, they've given us 7 halves, so we know the division problem is 7 divided by 2. Um, now let's do the division problem. 2 can go into 7 three times. Three times two is six. We subtract and get one. So it's three and a half. So if this is equal to three and a half and we want to know what two whole numbers this is in between, three and a half is in between three and four. D. 81 ninetieths is the fraction. So the division problem is going to be 81 divided by 90. Um, let's do the division problem. So 81 divided by 90. 90 can't go into 81. Can't go into 8 and it can't go into 81 either. So 0 times 90 is 0. We subtract and get 81. So our answer is just going to be 81 90ths. And 81 90ths, that's less than 1. So this is going to be in between 0 and 1. Number 3. Jackie cut a 2-yard spool into 5 equal lengths of ribbon. What is the length of each ribbon in yards? Draw a tape diagram to show your thinking. So she cut a 2-yard spool into 5 equal lengths. So there's our type diagram. The length is 2 yards. And she cut it into five equal lengths. So so what we have here is each section, what we did was two divided by five, which is equal to two fifths. So each section is two fifths. So the length of each ribbon in yards would be two-fifths yards. B. What is the length of each ribbon in feet? Draw a tape diagram to show your thinking. So first, we need to kind of um, figure out the relationship between feet and yards. So we know that three feet equals one yard. So up here, what I had was two yards. So two yards is equal to 
six feet if I double that. So in, what I'm going to do is just instead of using two yards like I did up here, I'm going to make a tape diagram using six feet instead. So instead of two yards, we have six feet, and then I'm still going to separate that into five equal lengths, like it says up here. So my problem is instead of two divided by five, I have six divided by five, which is equal to six fifths. So each length is six fifths feet, which is equal to one and one fifth. Number four, Baba, -ba, the black sheep, had seven pounds of wool. If he separated the wool equally into three bags, how much would be in two bags? Okay, so let's just start with this first part. So it's seven pounds of wool and separated into three bags. So we have seven separated into three. Let's draw that with a tape diagram. So there's my seven, I'm gonna divide it into three. Seven divided by three is seven thirds. So in each section, there's seven thirds. And we wanna know how much will be in two bags. So we wanna know one, two bags. So in two bags would be seven thirds plus seven thirds, which is 14 thirds in two bags, but let's make that into a mixed number. So 14 divided by three, three goes into 14, four times, subtract 12. So we're gonna have four and two thirds pound in two bags. and five. An adult sweater is made from two pounds of wool. That's three times as much wool as it takes to make a baby sweater. How much wool does it take to make a baby sweater? Use a tape diagram to solve. So two pounds for an adult sweater and that's three times as much to make a baby sweater. So we kind of need to work backwards to figure out what a baby sweater would be if we know that something times three is equal to two, we could do two divided by three is equal to that something. So if we have two pounds here and I separate it into thirds, two divided by three is two thirds. So each section here is two thirds. So you could each one of those is a baby sweater. So a baby sweater would take two thirds pound of wool. 